but today's Thursday and they got people out here at the farmer's market. So we're gonna go take a look, see what they got. Some bread, got some spices. Howdy, howdy. Y'all, you Mike? I'm Mike. You do the spices? We do. All right, you're gonna be on YouTube. Oh boy. Farmer's Market Ozark, YouTube, we can show the spices off. Spices and salsa. Salsa. Yeah. Look at that, he's got his own label, he looks like Hollywood. <laughs> I bet he's got a YouTube channel. Not there? Yeah. Not yet. Well, you need to let people know about your spices. <laughs> oh, they got handmade jewelry. Is that made out of bicycle tires? Or what is that made out? That's like rope. Okay, you got your little name up there. Yep. Yeah. Is it the, the pet? What does the pet do? Raw pet. Well, after that. Ah, oh, raw pet. Excuse me. Oh, here's the honey people. They always got to have the honey at the market. How you doing? I'm doing just fine. It's delicious. I tell you what, it's better than medicine. It is. I tell my people that listen to me on the video that. This will replace a lot of medicine. Oh yeah. If you get a cut, put honey on it. I mean, you know, hold you sore. Got, yep. Let, let it get crystallized and just leave it alone. Yep. Some people are saying they're actually taking honey shots for when they're riding or running long tours. They're actually Well they they might be putting it in a straw. I have seen them well, people. No, I, I got the honey sticks, but she said they're actually taking what's called honey shots. I said, you mean, she said it's like instead of B12, and, and injecting it. Yeah, injecting. I, would, injecting, right? I wouldn't want to do that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that stuff's kind of thick. <laughs> now, I know, I know it's good, like they, in a, like a jail form. Now, I'm from Mississippi, in the Mississippi Delta. I got 35 pounds in supply backed up. Oh, wow. See, you, you got to really. Honey. No, it's Delta, Mississippi Delta. Mississippi Delta. So um, I, that, that makes. Uh, see, I was born there, so that's where my honey comes from. Yep. But I went on and I bought up 35 pounds. And you know, it's last, it'll last a long time. Oh, yeah. Honey never goes bad. Now, this darker honey, is this. Uh, that's is, from the fall flowers. That's wildflowers. Wildflowers of the dark. And this is your clover That's what and the bees are collecting right now. And we got a little bit of alfalfa last year. Okay. How many bees uh, do you got? I have 75 hives, but I work with my ex-husband and he runs 350. You gotta have an ex-husband for that? Oh no, yeah. well, he's the one that got me into this. <laughs> he got he got you into it, so he's gotta he's, help. I, I got stung by the by the love bug, right? Yeah, honey bug. The honey bug. Yeah. <laughs> so you're in the business and can't get out of it, but yeah. you can get rid of him for a little while. Yeah, we're great friends. So it works out well. Yeah, me and me and my ex, good friends too. Okay, so said you want to work part time? I said no. All right, what we got going on here? Finley River, sign something, get a ticket. Yes, and win yes. this awesome thing right here and help with tornado relief. Huh? This is an $11,000 value ATV. Go ahead and tell us about it. It's uh, one, I, I, my eyes are letting me down. One chance, $10. Six chances, $50. $50. And you get this big red rig. Yes. Look at that thing. That's, if you want to buy a ticket and don't have any use for this, you can donate it to a not-for-profit and get the, and, the total value of the and, tax deduction. And they can do something with it again. There you go. just keep passing it around. But the big thing is it's helping our kids yep. that were affected by the tornadoes okay. uh, on April the 30th. So we still have four families that are being housed in hotels here locally right. during the recovery process. And so the school district this is taking care of our kids first. Going and now for that. then 
in the next couple months, the Finley River Community Foundation will do the long-term recovery piece of those families as they get back into their households. Like okay. This, so. Well, I'll sure tell my people about it so that when they come, you'll be open tomorrow or just one day. The drawing's tonight. The drawing it's is seven tonight. Seven o'clock. So we seven definitely want to buy those chances tonight. I might get this video up by that time. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. these tomato plants. Now those are already big and got little flowers on them. If you was going to buy a tomato plant, that'd be one you'd want. The big one. That's the biggest stock right there. There goes an ambulance or something. Fire truck making all that noise. Things for the pets to eat. Tomatoes, squash, strawberries. Wow, that looks good. Green fried tomatoes. When I see tomatoes, I, that's what I think of. Green fried tomatoes. They're yummy. Yep. Sweets. Yes. Yeah, y'all make them handmade and. Yeah, we're sampling ice cream. We're sampling ice cream. We're also sampling homemade fudge. Oh, you make ice cream. Mm -hmm. Wow. Got any sweet. of these flavors today? You can sample any flavor you like. Wow. I gotta stop this video and get a sample. I'll tell you how it is when I get back. A few moments later. Hey, I got a sugar rush, but I gotta tell you about this. This ice cream is very good. Now you said you were at the Brandon Lansing? It's a brand, the Branson Landing. Yep, just north of the fountain by five stores. And that's your name on there? Pronounce it. Kilwins. Okay. Homemade ice cream and treats. Yes. Now if you come here today, you can get a sample, but if you don't see this video till later, every Thursday, y'all here every Thursday? Yes, sir. Every Thursday you get to see them. Tell them uh, buddy sent you. <laughs> I got a sugar rush off of that. <laughs> hey, lady. How are you? Today? How are you doing? I'm doing well. How about you? What is this? I have different kinds of goat cheese. Goat cheese. Ah. Oh. These are my samples up in here. If you'd like to try anything. I'm gonna pass because that ice cream ain't gonna. I, it won't mix with that you ice don't think cream. So? No, I'm gonna. I pass. think goat cheese ice cream. Yeah, there's people looking for goat cheese. Yeah. <laughs> They'll find you. Yeah. More honey. Huh? Hey. Sauces and pickle relish. What are you, what are you expert in? We have a vodka marinara. We have a spicy jardinera. Huh? This is it in the jar? Yes. Oh, look at that! Look at that! It's pretty. Just hanging the jar up or setting it out for people to see and get a conversation started. You get the samples too. But you mix that with, and if you come, you get a sample. I can't mix it with that ice cream, but uh, <laughs> all right. And then this is the roasted red pepper pesto, and then this is the Italian um, antipasto relish called Campanata. Oh, huh. thank you, ma'am. Thank you. You here every Thursday? Okay. And that's your name. Okay. Fruits and nuts. They are soft. So How do they do that? Do you want to try a tiny little piece? They make it like a little candy bar. Yeah. Made with dates, raisins, almonds, and walnuts. Name it Power Bar and people will want to buy it. <laughs> exactly. Energy Bar, Power Energy Bar, bar. whatever you want to call it. Fruits Here and it. snacks. Okay. It's great for biking. Yeah, I can imagine. You put it in your back pocket? Look at these. Little baby tomatoes, all kind of colors. Hey. Oh, look at this. Wow, they got some good stuff. Really pretty. Makes a pretty picture. These are nuts too. Roasted nuts. 
You got roasted nuts here? I do. <laughs> I see cashews in there. I've got regular roasted cashews. I've got a southwest and i got a caramel cashew. A caramel cashew. It tastes kind of like a payday candy bar. All right. Well, people can find you by looking at the squirrel right there. <laughs> Leafy green vegetables. Lettuce, yeah. Real pretty. Thank you. Pies. Um, sweets. I am Andrea's pies. Andrea's pies. And you're Miss Andrea. I am, and then my mom, she makes things too. She, well, she taught you. Of course I did. Yeah. Well, that looks really pretty. Fruits and vegetables. Are these leeks? Those are candy sweet onions. Candy sweet onions. Yeah. They're just not okay. quite as big as they will be later. And be these big. are it's called cauliflower. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent organic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is that your sign? Yeah. Does that say Possum Creek? Possum Creek. Okay. Thank you. What do you do? Candles? We do 100% all natural soy wax man candles. Man? Man candles. M-A-N? M-A-N. Man candles. If you notice over here, we have scents like Cuban cigar, grandpa's pie, oh, leather. Specifically for a man yes. cave hangout. Exactly. Or a bar. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have some... Blackberry bourbon, caramel bourbon. Wow, you make it. Uh, we have uh, Distributors. employees that make them for us. Uh -huh. My husband and my son make them as well. Okay, so what's your name? Is this Reborn it? Co. Reborn Co. Okay, y'all got to come here and check this out. Thank you, ma'am. And these are the dog treats I was showing at the very beginning. You gotta really love your dog to want to buy a bunch of that. <laughs> there we are. It's a farmer's market, ain't it? It's a farmer's market, so that's why you got your green on? Well, today, it's the first time I've had this one on for a while. Well, I like your shoes. Thank you. They go good with the green. Watch your tent, it's kicking up in the front. It's kicking up. All right, so if you want to come to the farmer's market, it's every Thursday, Ozark, by the by the, by the Ozark meal. <laughs> now what do you do? You got my curiosity up. I'm a balloon twister. A balloon twister. Oh. Do a little juggling and lots of hands besides, besides watching to see if my tent blows away. I think I've seen you before. You you stand on the board. Yeah, yeah. He stands. Yeah. Okay. How do you like this new new location? Oh, well, uh, we have to give it a chance to uh, grow a little bit. Express itself. Yeah. A little early to ask too many questions about all that. Yeah. Well, it looks pretty anyway. Well, thank you. Yep. Y'all be sure to check it out. I gotta go. Wow, I seen a Bentley. So I had to stop and get a video of it. I wonder if it's Johnny Morris's Bentley. I think Johnny Morris drives a F1 Ford pickup truck. Is this yours? It is. Oh, I'm, I'm videotaping and taking a picture of it. Oh. It's beautiful. Thank you. You don't mind video? I do not mind. Let me look at it inside while you got it open. It's got lamb skin rugs. 
Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. These actually hold their value. Oh yeah, this very one's well. a 2010. 2010. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It's gorgeous. I was just saying it might be Johnny Johnny Morris, and you walk up. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that pretty? Thank you for letting me videotape it. You're welcome.